which is our head, hands, heart, and health. So many kids throughout New Mexico are part of the 4-H club, including Gracie and Eva Balthrop. Their dad's involved too. Members of the organization raise animals and show them, with the winners making it to auction. It's really special to us because it teaches us responsibility and I love animals and I get to, and I get to be with my animals every day. The Bernalillo County 4-H auction is taking place Friday and Saturday. Both Gracie and Eva's animals made it in after the girls sent in videos and photos of the animals to judges earlier this week. Usually that competition is live, not this year because of COVID. It was different, but it was fun. Because everything is virtual now instead of in person, dad had to learn how to be a photographer. And I've got to give props to your camera people because that's a hard job. <laughs> getting the right shots and, and filming the right stuff and getting the right light. I think every 4-H parent can attest to that. It was really stressful to try to get, you know, to show the best of these animals on camera rather than in person. Three of the girls' pigs got a spot in the auction along with a heifer. Those animals and dozens of others are now up for auction online kind of like 4-H on eBay. The Junior Livestock and Auction in Saturday at 3 p.m. and organizers tell me a lot of the kids that take part in this use that money for college. Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News. A new auction starts tomorrow from noon until 3. We put a link in this story on our website, koet.com.